Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 20 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 105, and happy Christmas Eve to you guys out there. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you actually celebrate the holiday like today. I think a lot of people in Europe like open their presents and have a family day today. Uh, so happy holidays to you if you celebrate it. If not, then just hope you're having a great day. If you would do me a huge favor on this episode and hit that thumbs up button, that would be brilliant. As a little mini Christmas present to me, let's go for a whopping 3,000 likes. That would be amazing. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also note that I have already uploaded the episode 1 to 100 highlights. I didn't save it for Christmas Day. I did, as a, I did it as a surprise for you guys on Sunday night. You can find a link to it in the top right corner. Um... So yeah, go and check that out. It's a long one, so you'll have to sit back, relax, and enjoy. So where we're starting today's episode out on uh, is going to be buying some players in order to do a Footmas SBC. Now, this is one from a couple of days ago. Uh, it is going to be uh, the Argentine Acuna. Now, he looks absolutely outstanding. Literally a member of Club 80 for like 40 to 45k. Um... Unfortunately, uh, a little bit unfortunately anyway, there he's placed as a left wing as opposed to a left back where I think a lot more people would have got a better use for him. However, this player is a perfect link to that Bataglia League SBC guy who is still stupid expensive. I think probably because of some of the reasons like, you know, this guy coming out, Balassi coming out. And just genuinely, he's a very, very good player. Um, but yeah, like in the future, you never know. If that SBC comes down in price and I've got spare coins, there's always a shout for me potentially doing that uh, and getting um, basically my two midfielders into the squad because... He would definitely be one of them, looking at his stats. He's, he's a great CDM centre midfielder, that's for sure. Uh, and then, of course, Bataglia would be as well, which would offer me some more, more like solutions going, you know, at, at like fullbacks and left mids and right mids. It would just offer, it would offer out a chance for me to move different players into different positions. So we welcome our first SBC. It's going to be the cheapest one of the episode. Uh, and there is a, a, another very expensive one coming up a little bit later on. <clears throat> but I figured for now, obviously I don't have a major use for him. And I have got sucked into the whole footmas. Make sure you do the SBCs that seem like good value. I definitely have got sucked into that a little bit just because, well, I don't want to miss out on some good first owner players. Uh, so I, I... And he looks great as well. So, like, he's a good... Super sub like centre mid. Him and Atal could come on and replace like Frankie and uh, and Thiago Mendes. So I I popped my little Zidane into into the squad because I wanted to at least try him out. So I'm still playing in the weekend league at this point in time. Uh, and uh, are still on our way to 14 wins, you know. So uh, I figured, you know what, we're going to put Zidane in the squad, and if we play in a 4-2-3-1, in a I'll push Messi out wide, play Zidane central cam, see if we can get something out of him. Or if we play the 4-1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, I'll swap him and Paulinho so that Paulinho stays back a little bit, and we give Zidane a little bit more free roam to run up the pitch and do what he does best. So uh, so yeah, essentially, we just we go from there. Now, uh, we I can't remember exactly where we're at in the weekend, league uh, we'll be able to tell after this match how many wins or losses we've got uh, because just because I've been getting so ahead of videos that it's, it's a difficult it's like a blur as to which episode is which for me right now uh, but we do go 1-0 up with Kenny Dalgleish and isn't it nice to see like Zidane and stuff running around with him oh it really is um, and Semedo pushes down that wing knocks it into Zinedine who scores the goal for me we get our first little goal there with Zizou uh, I think it ends up coming off the goalkeeper but of course I'm running straight out to the camera with this man uh, uh, and it is is a bit of a dream of mine to to be able to afford a version of him at some point in time. Obviously, we could sell some of our current players and get a decent version of him. Uh, but I don't really want to do that all for just one player. But my opponent gets a goal back there. Uh, it was actually a nice little sort of back flick or back heel um, from one of his players. But uh, he ends up getting like a rebound goal from it, which is, you know, a bit unfortunate. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Uh, it's just a little cheeky little ball roll from Zizou. And uh, we end up scoring the goal on his five-star weak foot. Uh, of course we do. Because he is five-star skill. Five-star weak foot. Oh, it's just so good. Like, um, apparently... Well, I know for a fact that the, the Prime one is like 12 million coins or something. And that would be lovely to, to own. But, of course, we're never going to own that at that price. Um... 
but he even has like 75 agility and balance. So like it's, 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 he's never going to feel like one of those players which is just perfect for this game. Um, but hopefully some of the other stats and hopefully every now and again he can just do something. Some like worldy moment which just makes you think, oh yeah, I've got Zidane in my squad. So uh, we end up getting a rage quit here. 4-1. Oh, that's right. Is this where uh, I, I, I'm gonna need? I'm gonna need to see it. I can't remember exactly where we are, but I'm pretty sure that was like my tenth win or something. Maybe I'm not 100 percent sure. Is it? Well, that was that. Yeah, that was. So that was win number ten. So at this point, we'd we'd lost a couple in a row, uh, or, or you know, about to lose a couple in a row. I can't really remember. Um, but this guy, I've got a feeling I lose to this guy. I seem to remember it. Uh, he had a nice team. Not necessarily the squad that you always come up against. Like, I don't face that Di Maria very often. Uh, and, and, and like, the Dybala and stuff and the Nine Golan. I guess you come up against Nine Golan kind of often. Um, but, like, the, the Di Maria was one of those cards which I decided not to do at the time. Um, but on the few occasions that I do come up against him, always seems to be, like, a really good player. Uh, so I end up going 1-0 down and struggling at this point. Mertens knocks it in to Dybala, out wide to Roberto Carlos. And I concede yet another header this weekend. I don't know whether it's Diego Carlos or something, but I, uh, I keep conceding headers which is not a good sign. Uh, it makes me want to bring PK back in for a little bit, just because I imagine he'd probably be quite good in the air. But we're 2-0 down. We push forward. We've got to obviously try and get back into this match. It drops to Messi. I get that one goal back. Uh, and, it, you know, if you push everything forward now, there's a chance that you might get another goal. So that's really what we go ahead and do. Neymar drops it back to Zidane. But what a save that is from Ter Stegen. We end up not getting that goal. Uh, and then Nijgolan takes the strike. But I wipe him out in the process. And this game is just going to go from <clears throat> possibly could have got my goal and got back into it to, well, that's over and done with then, isn't it? A 3-1. Uh, obviously, at that point, it's like full-on constant pressure. Just go for it. <clears throat> and even then, I couldn't couldn't muster anything up. When you look at that result and you look at those stats, I got absolutely done, that's for sure. Uh, and then come up against yet another crazy squad. Loads of amazing players in that one. Uh, definitely a squad to be fearful of. Firmino uh, just knocks it out or into Mbappe. One-twos it again. And that's a lovely ball through and just an easy goal. Uh, I don't know why, but I think I started moving my goalkeeper the wrong way. I then do an offside trap at the worst possible time. Uh, and my opponent ends up bottling that chance. Like, that was a certain goal, really. It should have been. Um, so he messed up there. But Zidane knocks it in to Kenny Dalglish. But I just didn't receive the ball perfectly. Didn't manage to take that touch to enable me to get the goal. Um, but then my opponent goes and does that. And I'm like, okay, <clears throat> starting to lose my cool now. I really was. I was just I was just getting completely stressed. And I end up rage quitting after this moment right here. Where uh, I just wipe, I just end up wiping out Neymar and giving a penalty away. And I'm like, okay, well this game's over and done with then, isn't it? So uh, at that point I was like... I'm just struggling. I'm just struggling. I know that there was going to be a, a weekend league extension, so I could always leave it until the next day to get my final wins, which is what I will do. Um, but, yeah, like, uh, the, the Footmas Challenge came out. Wanted to do that because a Prime Mixed Players Pack, it's all right. It's got some bronzes in it, which, of course, is not amazing. And it's not all rare. It's not a rare Mixed Players Pack, which, would, of course, would have been a bit better. Uh, but I'm still willing to... To take the chance, still willing to throw a bunch of players that I currently own into that one. Just for on the off chance that we get something good. Uh, can we get a little board or a walkout in this pack? Unfortunately not. Not this time around, but that's okay because, you know, we get good packs all the time. And uh, and that's obviously shown quite well in the uh, in the highlights video that we did. If you haven't seen the story so far. Uh, or you never, if you're someone that is kind of new to the channel and you haven't watched all 100 and, and plus episodes. Then, uh, then yeah, we, we've had some decent luck this year. That is, that's uh, an understatement probably. So, right now we're going to go out on the market and start picking up the players that we need in order to complete the Furlond Mendy uh, Futmus SBC because he is just someone that I was not going to miss out on. Um, knowing that he is probably th one of the most broken left backs on the game, for them to for EA to give us like a boosted version of him, I think that is like an end game fullback uh, on FIFA 20, and that is coming from me, a a Roberto Carlos icon owner. Um, so. 
I decided to do him, and I, I'm, I'm, he's got four-star skills and five-star weak foot, and with the stats that he's got, I will happily play him as a right-back, um, knowing that he's as good on either foot, and, and, and on seven chemistry, he'll be just as just as potent. There is no doubt about it. He'll be just as like great at tackling and everything, I promise you. Um, but yeah, it's, it's someone that... Uh, as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, they've actually given us a Mendy. Like, after the day before where they gave us Isoko, like a really crazy meta player, uh, and, and I didn't, I ended up not doing him, just because I had, like, sh small hopes that maybe they would end Footmas on a bit bit of a bang and give us a couple of crazy players, which, of course, they have done now with, with Mendy. And then, uh, uh, and then of course, the, you know, you got, like, the, the Renato Sanchez and stuff. It all, all looks pretty good. Um... But this is an expensive SPC. This is 300,000 coins. Now, it's not an amount of coins that uh, is a very smart move to go ahead and complete an SBC for a player for. Like, that's a lot of coins that we're, we're never going to have again. Um, but what we have got is a fullback for the rest of the game, or at least until team of the season or whatever. Guaranteed. Uh, like, we can always set our defense up in a way where we've got Furlong Mendy at right back, Roberto Carlos at left back, vice versa, whatever. It ain't going to matter. Uh, and then we'll just have, like, either French defenders, Brazilian defenders, or La Liga defenders, whatever it is, in order to make that chemistry work. Uh, and with icon swaps coming in just a couple of days, uh, I'll be very interested to see what players are on the list for us to actually get. Uh, and when that is known, uh, I, it will be interesting for me to figure out whether or not I want my end game centre back. If there's, let's say, like a, a crazy Laurent Blanc or, or a, I don't know, they can't do a Rio Ferdinand, I guess, because he already got one last time. Um, <clears throat> but... There's there's that. I could end up maybe trying to complete my defense or, or get a really solid uh, centre-back option in there that is going to be good until team of the season. Or maybe there's a cool flair player coming out up the top, which I, I definitely want to get my hands on. Um, I don't know, actually. That's a good little topic for conversation. What do you think for Icon Swaps 2? You, I don't know, you might know, I guess, by the time you're watching this, but uh, I'm guessing that we won't know who the players are until the swap stuff comes out on, on Boxing Day, which is what I think people have been sharing on on Twitter. Um, so if that's the case, uh, who do you think? Like, what sort of levels do you think they're going to go for? I think they said that players that have already been in Icon Swaps won't feature again, so that rules out the likes of the Rio Ferdinands and stuff. Do you guys think that, like, a... Uh, a baby Del Piero or a, a baby uh, Kenny Dalglish like we've got. Do you think that maybe we could get a player of that level? Considering last time, the first Icon Swaps, which we were able to get by December, you could get like a Steven Gerrard, you could get a middle Drogba, like million coin players. So it wouldn't be too much to us to go for like a 1.5 million cap this time, would it? Uh, maybe even a 2 million. I don't know. Um... It's going to be very interesting. Like, if there's any form of Ronaldinho in there, even like the baby one, I'm going to be tempted. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I actually kind of can't wait to see what it is and how hard the grind is going to be to get that. Because if the grind looks stupid, <clears throat> then I think I've already set myself up to be like, you know what, I'll, uh, I'll get half the tokens across the two months or whatever it is, uh, and then... And I'll get that middle player and I won't stress myself out about it. However, if you get like, if you have to get every single token and you get yourself a, a Kenny Dalglish or like a middle Ronaldinho or something nuts like that, then yeah, probably going to be grinding that out, aren't I, to try and make that happen. Um, but it's an interesting topic of conversation and it's actually uh, interesting to see how many of you are interested in really grinding it out if it means getting yourself a free icon or a, like a, a couple of icons or whatever. Uh, I'm curious. So uh, maybe Make sure you, you get involved down below in the comments. Now, I had a little bit of a turnaround halfway through the final squad. I bought like a Chiellini and then I needed to buy some PSG players, but they all like rocketed in price. So I ended up going down another route. Uh, so I ended up selling the Chiellini and buying a Harry Kane as like the high rated player for this squad uh, and then buying the rest of the team. And, and that was ended up, it, mean, it means that I come in at around 300k as opposed to about 320k or something. So uh, that was good. That was a wise decision right at the end there. I probably should have adjusted my second team as well uh, to, to make it uh, slightly cheaper again. But we get... Futmus, Furlon, Mendy. Welcome to the club. He comes in 
sliding on his belly. Uh, he is, uh, he's a bit chilly because it's Christmas time, you know. Uh, but welcome to the club. 85 Mendy. Like, he only has 80 defending. Does that matter? Literally not one bit. He is a, he's a broken card. That's what he is, you know. It is, it's FIFA 20 and we know that Mendy's great on this game. So, uh, <clears throat> he is, he's great. I just, uh, I bought another Wijnaldum. We didn't get a free Wijnaldum for completing it, but this is my first owner one. I ended up, I wanted to keep that for icon swap stuff. Um, so I ended up buying another Wijnaldum rather than using my first owner. So Mendy comes with some nice stats uh, in the right areas. He's tall. He's got four-star skill, five-star weak foot. So he's someone that we are going to play as a right back for now. But there was a chance that we could get something good from the reward packs. Absolutely all of them were trash for me. They weren't very good at all. So we didn't really make any money back in the slightest. We probably, Obviously, we made a little bit if we sold everything. Um, but I'm just going to keep them because they're... Decent SBC fodder, aren't they? Uh, so, yeah, welcome to my starting 11, Furlong Mendy. It's going to be sad to finally say goodbye to, to, to Nelson Semedo because I, I now have two fullbacks that I'm going to want to use. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a sad time to, to say goodbye. But, uh, you know what? We've got someone who should be literally outstanding for us there. I apply a Guardian chemistry style because he's already got great physicals, great pace, uh, and I didn't have the money for a shadow or anything like that. Uh, I would recommend a shadow if you can get one, but I think they're like over 20k right now, which is ludicrous. You guys are nuts if you're paying that for that. Honestly, it's ridiculous. I wish EA would actually up the supply of it as well. Um, <clears throat> so I decided to... Play one more late night game of, uh, <clears throat> of of foot champs to see if I could get a win with my new fullback. And I'm not going to lie, I just played awful. Uh, so we end up going 1-0 down <clears throat> to Serge Gnabry, who is one of my nemesis players. Uh, he's one, yeah, he's one of the kryptonites. Uh, and then, like a couple of minutes later, he scores a two-nil goal, and I'm like, oh, how has that happened then? Uh, so we're two-nil down. I'd already lost the last two games I've played. <clears throat> so, what a nine and one or a ten and one start this weekend has gone completely and utterly down the pan, as I am three nil down in the fifty-fifth minute. So obviously, I then throw absolutely everything at him rather than rage quitting, just to see if maybe we can. Uh, Maybe we can get something back in this game. And I get one goal there with Atal. Um, but that is, that's all we could do. That's all we could muster up. We end up losing three goals to one. And I'm pretty sure that brings me to 10 and four from 10 and one. So a really poor run in this episode. And I figured, you know what? We need to stop. I needed to leave it until the Monday to play the rest of my games uh, and, um, and and go from there, really. Yeah, because because I just wasn't in the right frame of mind. I was obviously tired. I was obviously like not playing well uh, so and, and playing triggered just because I'd lost a couple of games. So it was silly for me to even play on after losing the, the first or the second game there. Uh, so I should have stopped a bit earlier, that is for sure. But we've reached over 200 goals now with Neymar, which is awesome. The guy's a beast. There is no doubt about it. Um, and we've only got three games left with our Zidane. So after that, we'll we've had to sell uh, Furlong Mendy. Uh, not had to sell Furlong Mendy. We had to sell Frankie De Jong in order to fund Furlong Mendy. So we don't have him anymore. We've just got a first owner regular gold version of him. Uh, and I'm actually thinking about maybe even bringing Pep, Pep back into the squad just for like the first half, knowing that I've got Acuna, knowing that I've got Atal that I can bring on um, whenever I want in a game, and that'll obviously be absolutely fantastic. So guys, that is the end of the episode. I will still have a regular regular episode for you guys tomorrow on Christmas Day um, and like I said I've already uploaded the highlights video so if you haven't watched that yet if you've somehow missed that then there's a link up there I'll also remind you of that tomorrow if you're bored over Christmas nothing to do <clears throat> maybe you got some new headphones or something new to watch uh, a video on then go ahead and, and chill and watch that for 50 minutes that'd be awesome uh, and thank you so much for watching I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and I will catch you tomorrow with another episode peace